May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Guke Audio Podcast. I'm D.C. Puba of Guke Audio and Guke Archives, preserving the legacy of Shindu Suzuki and those whose paths crossed his and anything else that comes to mind. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So uh, today's uh, brief memory comes from Don D'Angelo, who some of you may remember as Donnie Crockin. Uh so, um, here we go. Tazahara's 1969 fall practice period was almost over. It was early in the morning of the first day of the seven-day session, the December Rohatsu. Gene Ross, the head monk, sat with Suzuki on the raised platform at one end of the zendo. Dan Welsh was up there, too, as he rang the bell to begin and end the periods of Zazen. Suzuki Roshi was walking quietly around the zendo with his nyoi, the short stick, adjusting postures and sometimes whacking a nodding student on the shoulders. He tapped Donnie on the shoulder. Donnie assumed it was because he was going to get hit for daydreaming, but he was surprised when Suzuki indicated he wanted to talk. Once outside, Suzuki asked Donnie if he could take a picture of him in the zendo. Donnie said he thought there wasn't enough light yet, and he didn't know if he had any film left, but Suzuki urged him to go get his camera anyway. This was so uncharacteristic of Suzuki to do something like this during Zazen especially during Sashin, to ask to have a photo of himself taken at all. Donnie asked, what's it for? And Suzuki answered, it's for my birthday. Donnie returned with the camera. There was one shot left in it. Suzuki was in the aisle with his nyoi in hand, walking slowly, looking down at the students. It still seemed too dark. As I stood there with one shot in my camera, Donnie wrote, the first ray of light shone right on Roshi through the window. You would have had to have been there. Donnie took the picture. We never spoke about it again after the photo was shot, ever. As far as I know, Roshi never saw the photo, Donnie says. I didn't print it for another couple months. When I got to a dark room in San Francisco on a visit, and then I just handed it off to Yvonne or someone and kept a copy for my altar. And he forgot about it. Early in 2004, <laughs> Donnie received an invitation from the Zen Center for a celebration of Suzuki Rochi's 100th birthday to be held over the weekend of May 21st, 23rd. Suzuki's son, Hoitsu, was coming from Japan, as would Zen Center alumni far and wide. There would be displays of memorabilia, meals, and events at the Zen Center, Sokoji and Green Gulch. What really caught Donnie's eye, though, was the photo on the front of the invitation, a photo of Suzuki Roshi. He recognized, as the one he had taken at Tassahara in the Zendo 35 years earlier, the one that was for my birthday. Hmm. I told Donnie that this was a strange thing for Suzuki to say, because in my experience, Japanese don't, and Suzuki nor his wife never did make a big deal out of birthdays. That's our trip, an American thing. I asked Donnie how he reacted to seeing the photo on the cover of the invitation. You know, he said, I wasn't at all that surprised when I saw it. I think intuitively I always knew it would be used for something like that, but it did definitely bring a tear to my eye.
You want to see this picture? I'll put it on uh, Kuke.com. What's new? It's, um, the, the what's new on Kuke.com goes to kuknew.blogspot.com. So you can go to geek.com and hit what's new. And it'll give you a choice of going to to the Kuk What's New blog or the Kuk uh, Nonsense blog. And you go to the What's New blog. I'll have I'll have that picture on it uh, with a, uh, you know, posting it for the 26th of July, 2021. And uh, I'll mention this. And I'll link to the to the um, brief memory page for this. It will also accompany this podcast if you happen to see the image that goes with it. Um, hmm, I think I'll use this in Tassara Stories. That's a good story, huh? Okay, thank you. This has been a QQ Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of QQ Audio and QQ Archives coming to you from Sleepy Sanur with Dog and Bandita, Feline Cochita, and dear lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you, and yours, and all of us, a grand awakening.